Right now on 11 Alive, uh, Metro Atlanta is the third highest ranking for HIV diagnosis in the country. So this is according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Local clinics say they are already seeing more positive cases. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles is live with us in studio to explain why even healthcare officials are shocked at these numbers. Well, Jennifer, I want to provide some context here. Though the data is most recently available, the information is from three years ago. So I set to find out what Atlanta's cases look like today. HIV may not look like it did 30 or 40 years ago, but Atlanta expressed its shock when observing a recent trend. This quarter for 2024, we've already reported more um, positive individuals living with HIV than we did the quarter in 2023. AIDS Atlanta mostly serves Fulton, DeKalb, and Clayton counties. So if we take it beyond Atlanta to the metro Atlanta area, recent Centers for Disease Control and Prevention statistics really puts things into perspective. A spokesperson for the CDC says, quote, the Atlanta Sandy Springs, Alpharetta, Georgia, metro political statistical area was third nationally for HIV diagnosis in 2021, right behind Miami and Memphis. Dwayne Ford is the director of HIV prevention services with AIDS Atlanta. We're all trying to figure out, you know, why are we getting more people that are diagnosed with HIV when we know there are more prevention tools out there. When you expand it to the entire state, Current preliminary data shows Georgia is fourth in the country for HIV diagnosis. Concerned residents started sharing this information all over social media. Some saying they're now afraid to date here. There's fear, and that's with anything that's unknown. HIV does have a stigma. It's important to note that this same data shows infections are 12% lower in 2021 than they were in 2017, but there were still some pandemic restrictions in place that could be playing a role in that data. Still, Ford wants to remind everyone that this disease is not a death sentence. The message continues to be the same as it always has been. Prevention methods are out there. Or suggest taking your health care, excuse me, talking with your health care providers about preventative medications, you know, such as PrEP, so you can protect yourself. There are also resources in the city to help with the cost of testing. All right, Teresa, thank you.